thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'd like to take this time to welcome everybody. Hallelujah. From which parts of Nareri Navasai, Dawilewu, Kornibia, Nandawa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whether you just live locally, whether you came all the way from Suba, Nosori, and all the surrounding areas, you are most welcome tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. For those of you hallelujah, who've been regularly attending the Bible study, we salute you and thank you for doing so. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We give all the glory and honor to Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're touching on salvation, as you probably know it already. And the two scriptures that are foundational scripture that we're uh, reinforcing throughout these studies is found in the book of Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10 and the gospel of John chapter 6 verse 47. Can we read the scriptures please? 2, 3. Amen. And the second scripture, please, two, three. Most assuredly, I say to you, you will live to me and everlasting life. Amen. Notice Jesus started this verse in saying, most assuredly. Which means this verse is loaded with 100% guaranteed. Amen. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, Amen, the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved 100%. Amen. 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 Nobody can take it away from you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we go on with the studies? Anybody got any questions? Last night there was plenty of questions, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Eh? That's good. Hallelujah. Who can be saved? Can everybody be saved? Yes or no? Yes, everybody can be saved. Eh? Because salvation has been made available to, eh, to everybody. The only problem is not everybody wants to accept it. Eh? Not everybody wants to accept it. Praise the Lord. Eh? If you look at your life, just your personal life, just you. Eh? Just you. How, how old were you when you got saved? Oh, keep that very quiet. Don't tell us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know ladies get very uncomfortable when we ask them their age. Eh? And we're not supposed to ask the ladies how old are you. But just think. How old were you? So in other words, if you were 26 when you got saved, so for 25 years, you've been rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ. Eh? Or maybe 14 years. You didn't want to get saved, you didn't want to get saved, you didn't want to get saved until 26 years. And then bam, Jesus Christ came into your heart. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. So those 14 years were being wasted on something else. Eh? I, I personally, I, I'm just using myself as an example. Eh? I was 30 years old, three zero, when I got saved. And when I got saved, and I got so happy when I got saved. Because I found out the joy in the Lord. Eh? And I look back at my life, all the years I've wasted doing cheeky and naughty things. And look at the teenagers going, you too, Pastor? Ha, welcome to the club. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. Uh, I, I kind of regret it. Man, I wish I got saved earlier. But praise the Lord, eh? the teenagers are here. You got saved earlier, so Satan cannot kill you in the nightclub or all the cheeky places where people go. And all the teenagers say, Amen, Italiani. Praise the Lord. Eh? So we've done with uh, hell and all that. You're familiar with that now. Praise the Lord. Eh? You know it. Let that be a motivation 
for you when you pray for your unsaved loved ones. Who's been checking out the, the, the group page of this church? Oh, praise the Lord. Look at all these people. Man, you're so internet savvy. Good, 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 good. You like? You like what we got up? Praise the Lord. And you like it? You've been downloading it? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I think this is where we were last night. We were here last night. Is that right? Yeah? We were here last night. So how were the people before Jesus Christ was saved on the cross? Or was hang, hanged on the cross? How were the people then were saved? How were they saved? Anybody from last night? By faith. By faith just like us today. Yeah, by faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, yeah, so those people back then and us people today. Now that's very bad English for because we got a teacher here. Uh, she's watching me very closely. I better watch what I say here. Praise the Lord. Uh, because she's, I'm going to receive the correction. Praise the Lord. But that's okay. You understand what I'm trying to say. Amen. Hallelujah. As long as you get the message. Yeah? So those people and all of us here, we all get saved one way, and that's by faith. Yeah? They look forward, we look back. They look forward towards the cross, we look back because Jesus died more than 2,000 years ago. Praise the Lord. And I don't think anybody sitting here tonight is more than 2,000 years old. Anybody? No. All young people here. Praise the Lord. Yeah? Hallelujah. So... Everybody gets saved by faith. Eh? Uh, uh, do you know the reason why? We discussed it last night. What was the reason? Why did, why did God set it up like that? Hallelujah. So that nobody can boast. Praise the Lord. So nobody can boast about it. Let me just bear with me for one more problem. Right. Set this thing up. Praise the Lord. So that nobody can boast because everybody, eh, we've all got the tendency to what? Boast. Whether you like to admit it or not, you do. And I'm just going to use the ladies here, so I better very be very careful what I say, because otherwise if the ladies get offended, I'm not going to have a cup of tea tonight. Eh? So I better be careful. So I apologize in advance. And you watch the ladies. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you know, if somebody got a nice perfume or a nice dress, they will ask, where did you get that from? How much was that? Man, I like that design. Is there any more dresses like that over there? My size, did you see it? And all the ladies say, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. Eh? Oh, your earrings looks nice. Man, that's beautiful. Where did you get it? Hallelujah. Oh, I better go check it out tomorrow. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. Because we like to compare and compete. That's the nature. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember the suar we talked about last week? Huh? Anybody remember the suar? Huh? What happened to the suar? When you wash it, clean it, toothbrush it, hallelujah, put lipstick, eh? and maybe a little bell over here, and you know, hallelujah, put it. Eh? After you wash the suar, where does the suar go? Back to the mud. Back to the mud. Why? It's in the nature of the suar. Loves the mud. Eh? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But if this sewer got born again, and Parmesan changes the nature of the sewer, this sewer will never go back to the mud. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Just like you and me. Eh? We were like this sewer. Hello. Love the mud. Love the things of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Those people gossip about you. And hey, after one week, you go back there. Amen. Hallelujah. Those people did catch catch thing to you. And hey, after that, go back there. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why? It's in our nature. Yeah, we love the dirty stuff. Hallelujah. But when we, we got born again, man, that thing doesn't appeal to us anymore. And the church say, amen. amen and amen. I better carry on with this thing. 
It's a very interesting question, this one. What happens to those who have never heard about Jesus? Hmm? What happened? Let's read the first part. Two or three. Pay very careful attention to that. Eh? Everybody is accountable to who? Parmeshwar. Eh? Whether or not they have heard about him or not. Doesn't matter. Amen? Eh? Doesn't matter. Rich or poor. Hallelujah. Eh? Educated or not educated. Eh? Whether you're working or unemployed. Doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us that God has clearly revealed himself in what? In nature. Even nature is preaching the gospel. You look around. The trees. Amen. You look around. Hallelujah. Nature is preaching the gospel. From the time they were created until today. Eh? And in the hearts of the people. Because there's a nature of God on the inside of us. Praise the Lord. How many mothers here? Or fathers? Parents. How many parents here? Now let me ask you this question. When your brand new baby was born. Eh? When your brand new baby was born. Were you hoping and wishing, hallelujah, that that baby will grow up to be the naughtiest baby in the whole world? Hands up. Naughtiest, cheekiest, yeah? rebellious, disobedient baby. How many of you, you wish that on your child? If that was you, we're going to smack your head if you don't have your hands up. Nobody. Because we want this child to be a good, successful child. Is that right? If that was you and me, Sinful people. What do you think about Parameshwar who has never committed any sin? That's what he wants from all his children. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. Now here we go. Can you read the problem for me? Two, three. Amen? You notice the scripture references have been given to you, eh? So you can check it out. Praise the Lord. Okay. The problem, the only problem here on planet Earth is the one. The people, the human beings. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at somebody sitting next to you and says, we are the problem here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn to somebody else, somebody else, and say, you're the problem. Now put it yourself and say, I'm the problem too. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't, don't tell that person I've been wanting to tell that to you a long time. <laughs> Amen. Eh? Hallelujah. The people, the, eh? we are the problem here. We say one thing today and we change it tomorrow. But for some people, they change it in two hours' time. Eh? Didn't take long to change it. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Too much agapiche. Eh? Praise the Lord. You know what I mean by agapiche. Okay. Praise the Lord. Eh? Uparniche. Too much. Amen? If it were not for God's grace, we would be given over to sinful desires of our us. And this is happening, watch, watch, watch. This is happening in, uh, how can I say, same-sex relationships. Same-sex relationships, eh? How do you call it over here? Is it homosexual or same-sex relationship? Huh? Yeah, eh? Same-sex relationship. I told you last time that in Australia, there was a law passed last year eh, legalizing same-sex marriage. Yeah? Praise the Lord. I hope they don't pass that law in Fiji. So the church better start praying. It eh? should have been praying a long time ago, but anyway, we better wake up very quickly. Amen? Hallelujah. When sinful people get into the government, this is what they do. Or yeah, people who don't serve God. When they get into the government, this is what they do. They pass laws that are against the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. 
So if it was not for God's grace, we would be given over to sinful desires of our hearts, allowing us to dis discover how useless and miserable life is apart from Him. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And that is true because life was miserable before Jesus came into our heart. How many can testify about that? Eh? Life was truly miserable. Eh? You weren't enjoying life eh? when you weren't serving God. But now that you're serving Parmeshwar, praise the Lord, you, you have a hope and you can go to somebody who can help you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who can watch your children 24-7. Eh? You've got a security system. Parmeshwar has got a security system that can look after you, your, eh, your husband, Hallelujah, your family, your property, 24-7. Praise the Lord. Angels watching and guarding eh, God's children. Amen. Eh, he does this for those who continually reject Him. Notice. Pay very careful attention to this last, se last sentence. He does this for those who continually reject Him. This is what happens. Eh? When you, when you continue to reject Parmeshwar, reject Parmeshwar, reject Parmeshwar, then Parmeshwar will permit and allow you to be involved in sin as far as you can bear it or go into it. Amen. In John chapter 10, the Bible says that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. What's that? What's that scripture in Hindi, Pastor? Ah, there you go. You heard it in Hindi. Eh? He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's not just satisfied with with stealing. Eh? He's not satisfied with killing. He's satisfied eh? in completely destroying you, everything about you, and everything that you have. Your marriage, your children, your husband, your bank account, your work, until you yourself die. Praise the Lord. Amen. We've seen it. We've seen it involved in being a pastor. We've seen it. People who, who think, uh, I, I, I hope nobody gets offended, but if you get offended, uh, praise the Lord. We'll pray for you. Um, because people, some people, they just want the benefit. Of, of Parmeshwar, eh? of being a Christian. They just want the blessings. But they don't want to come and serve Parmeshwar. They don't want to come to church. They don't want to give their time. They don't want to serve Parmeshwar. But they just want the benefit. Praise the Lord. Eh? The benefit comes in serving Parmeshwar. They just want to treat Parmeshwar like a spare tire. When there's a puncture in the life, hallelujah, and then change the tire. Another puncture, change the tire. Another puncture, change eh? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Only want the benefit, but they don't want to commit themselves, commit their lives, commit their marriage, commit their family to serving Parmeshwar. Don't come to church just for the benefit. Come to church to worship Parmeshwar. Eh? Come to church to worship Parmeshwar. Don't just come for the benefit. The benefit comes, hallelujah, when we're serving Parameshwar. Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now that's very harsh preaching, but I need to tell you that. I need to clarify that to you so you understand it. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So that's the scripture. From the time the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky and all that God made, they can clearly see His invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse whatsoever for not knowing God. Amen. Hallelujah. The gospel of Jesus Christ has been preached to us through nature itself. Praise the Lord. Because nobody can put all these things together except somebody. And that somebody is Parmeshwar. 
There's other scriptures here in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. I think we touched a little bit on that last night. Amen. We will never know everything about Parameshwar. Our brain is too small eh, to receive. You haven't got enough memory and enough, how can I say, software or hardware in your brain to be able to know everything about Parameshwar. Nobody can. When you think you've reached knowing all that God has, there's more to go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Eh? Romans chapter 1 verse 21 and 23 says, Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship Him as God or even giving Him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. The result was that their minds became dark and confused. Amen. Claiming to be wise, they became utter fools instead. And you're talking about educated people, USP graduated people. And they can be so smart, but at the same time so stupid. Amen. And instead of worshipping the glorious ever-living God, they worship idols made to look like mere people or birds and animals and snakes. You guys should know that very well because you, some of you come from that background. Eh? Yeah? Now, we touched on that last year on breaking generational curses. We put up all the pictures here. Eh? Remember all those pictures we had up here? Praise the Lord. Any questions so far? So what's the, um, what's the prognosis here? <coughs> Does anybody have, it, have any excuse for not getting saved? No. Nobody's got an excuse. Eh? You won't have an excuse when you stand before Parameshwar. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. There is a judgment to come. But I'm speaking way, way ahead. I shouldn't do that. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited. In reality, can you read it for me? Two, three. Amen. That's the biggest problem. Eh? We reject what we have heard and what we know about what nature has been preaching all this time. And there's a lot of books about nature. You go on the internet. Man, there's a lot of it. Eh? Praise the Lord. Okay, let's read two, Deuteronomy 4.29. Yeah. So if you seek him, you will find him. Yeah. Hallelujah. You've probably seen testimonies on the internet where people have gone, okay, God, prove yourself. If you are the real God, prove yourself. I heard uh, there was some lady here. She's now uh, she's now a pastor's wife. She said um, uh, she went to New Zealand for a few months. I think it was three months. She went to New Zealand with her husband. And uh, get this. She only had in her purse 20 Fijian dollars. In New Zealand, that's not much, eh? in, when you compare it to New Zealand dollars. She took that. That's the only money she had when the plane took off from here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She said she spent all that time in New Zealand, three months, living with friends, eating, the, traveling around New Zealand. Hallelujah. Came back to Fiji. The $20 is still there in the purse. She said, Are, if God can do it to me, this is the true and living God. She is now a pastor's wife in the church some of you. Amen? I can't think of anybody going overseas with only $20. Praise the Lord. Especially if Fiji money is not very strong. Eh? Uh, praise the Lord. But see, God just proved it to her. Eh? God did prove it to her. From that day, she never left serving God. Amen. 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 They are now the pastors of a church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. This verse teaches us an important principle. Everyone who truly seeks after God will find Him. 
Yeah? If a person truly desires to know God, God will make himself known to him. Listen. Because we're studying that, right? We're studying the, all this all this thing. If you want to know more about God, hallelujah, you ask Parameshwar. Reveal more of yourself to me. As I read your word, as I read the Bible, reveal more of yourself to you. I want to have a deeper relationship with you, Parameshwar. And for sure, that, that's the kind of prayer Parameshwar loves to hear. Amen? Hallelujah. You ask Parameshwar. Huh? Praise the Lord. Amen? Any questions so far? Am I going too fast with this thing? Am I going too fast? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The problem is there is no one who understands, no one who seeks God. Amen? People reject the knowledge of God that is present in nature and in their own hearts and instead decide to worship a God of their own creation. Because we've heard this said, Pastor Atisha and myself, we've heard this where people say, are we not going to a church? We're just staying home and watching on television and singing it on video. Hello. Yeah, yeah we've heard, oh, we've, uh, we just turn on the radio and we listen uh, you know, in a church. There's only one problem. When they want their children married, yeah, they don't call the pastor on the radio to marry their children. Hello. Yeah, when one of the relatives go uh, admitted in the hospital, CWL, they don't ring the radio station. They look for a pastor. Praise the Lord. Hello. Eh? When the demon come at night or during the day, hallelujah, and haunted the house, eh? they don't ring the radio station or the television station. They look for a pastor. You see, they want the benefit, but not serving Parameshwar. Understand this. Let me make this very clear to you. The way God set this thing up, every one of us will need to belong to a local church. Amen? You cannot, you and me, we cannot grow in our personal relationship with Parmeshwar just by staying home. We need to belong to a local church. Praise the Lord. Huh? If I were to ask you, yeah, how many of you, you were here last year? Put your hands up. You were here last year. Good. Good, 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 good. If I were to ask you, eh, have you grown as a Christian since last year? What would you say? Have you grown? In what areas have you grown? How much have you grown? Praise the Lord. Are those areas have been nurtured? And are you bearing fruit? And what kind of fruit? And how much fruit are you bearing? You see now. Amen. Because only in church your growth can be monitored. Eh? That's why we have the leadership. Praise the Lord. Understand something too? There's an umbrella of protection of Parmeshwar over the church. Because Parmeshwar is coming back after a what is he coming back for? A church. He's coming back after the church. Amen? Without spot or wrinkle. So if you don't belong in a church, you're probably going to miss the boat or the chariot of fire as it goes up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't stay home. Eh? Be a part of the life of the church. Get involved in your local church. Praise the Lord. Support the program of the church. Pray for the church. Support the church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't just stand on the sideline and watch. Yeah? Praise the Lord. Yeah? It's more enjoyable to play the game rather than watching it. Eh? For those who have played. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Any question? Pastor, a simple question I want to ask. Suppose Sister Robina wants to accept Jesus Christ because of my nature. She did accept it. And who will be the accountable for that? If she wants to accept it, yeah. and because of your nature, yeah. what happens? She 
did accept Jesus Christ as the Savior. Yeah. And she went back to the own. It will be a convert for her. Or the person itself. Not you. Because each one of us, we are responsible of our growth and development in Christ. Now there's a two part here. Let me, let me very, make it very clear. There's the pastor's part and there's the believer's part. The members of the church. Eh? We are both responsible. Eh? This is why we have the pastors. Eh? The leadership is responsible of feeding the sheep. The sheep is responsible of submitting to the leadership. Praise the Lord. That's how the church structure works. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, because we were in Cornelia a few days ago. Eh? In other words, hallelujah. The cow cannot tell the owner, hey, this grass is no good. I want to go to the other paddock. Hallelujah. It's up to the owner where to take the cow to fresh grass. Anna, eh? The cow cannot tell the owner. Have you seen the cow telling the owner? No. And it's like that. The sheep cannot tell the shepherd. Hallelujah. Hey, the food I don't like. Praise the Lord. Because you are also responsible of feeding your own self. Eh? Read the Bible. Do your devotion. Praise the Lord. But we can touch that later on. But yes, both are responsible. Eh? You are responsible for feeding the sheep. And the sheep is also responsible for the development hallelujah, and the growth. Eh? That's why the Bible says, work out your salvation. It's talking to each and every individual believer. You work out. Didn't say the pastor work it out. Said you work out. Work out your salvation. Praise the Lord. In other words, if pastor goes to the gym, and lift the weights. Who's gonna get fit? Radini? No. Pastor is gonna come here and look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> with muscles. Hana. So, eh, praise the Lord. If you do your devotion, read the Bible, attend church, study the word of God, honey, you wanna grow? Praise the Lord. <clears throat> eh? Hallelujah. But I understand something. We are we are all at different levels of our growth in God. Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Does that answer the question, Pastor? Yeah. Amen. Can we carry on? It is foolish to debate the fairness of God sending someone to hell who have never heard had the opportunity to hear the gospel of Christ. People are responsible to God for what God has already revealed to them. The Bible says that people reject this knowledge and therefore God is just in condemning them to hell. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. And this is why I said sometime last week, I think about of all your loved ones who, who, who died without receiving Jesus Christ. Eh? Yeah. They are all responsible. I praise the Lord. But the ones that are still alive, we pray for them so that they can come in. Amen. Eh? We do our job, Parmeshwar will do his job. Amen. Eh? We cannot do Parmeshwar's job. Eh? Hana, we do what we're supposed to do. That's all we can do. And leave the rest for Parmeshwar to do. Can you say amen? amen. I'll just stand up for a few minutes. Shake that sleepy spirit off. The tired spirit. Shake it off. Shake it off. Hallelujah. Yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hallelujah. <laughs> Shannon. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you, Shannon. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, eh? Hallelujah. You may be seated. Good question. I encourage you, eh? Uh, if you have a question, and you're just discussing amongst yourself, eh? You can write it down on a piece of paper. Amen? Praise the Lord. So instead of debating the fate of those who have never heard, we, as Christians, should be doing our best to make sure they do here. Amen? This is why evangelism is important. Eh? Hallelujah. This is the same reason we are taping the program. Praise the Lord. Eh? Yeah. Hallelujah. Because, because when pastor go back, and pastor going to upload it on YouTube. Amen. All the previous 
uh, studies we've done here, hallelujah, it's currently on YouTube right now. Amen? So you can go to YouTube and watch the previous services and studies we've done in this church. Eh? We do the service here, but people in England, America, New Zealand, Australia, all over the world, they are watching this service when we upload it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Amen. So this service, you who are part of this service, you are preaching the gospel to the whole world. It's not me, it's all of us together. We are in this thing together. Patricia is in this thing together. All of you. Amen. Hallelujah. We're all preaching. We're, we're preaching the gospel to the whole world. Because it's accessible through the internet. Amen. So we praise God for We use the technology available to us to preach the gospel. This is why I encourage young people. Hallelujah. Don't just use Facebook just for, you know, all the other stuff. Put a scripture there in your status. Amen. Promote God on your Facebook account. Use your Facebook account to promote the things of the kingdom of Parmeshwa. Hallelujah. I think I've said it before last year. That's why Abero is smiling. Hallelujah. I better know it very well. Hallelujah. Because last year I never stopped reminding them. Hallelujah. Sharon is going to do that tonight. Eh? She's going to put the scripture there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Eh? Huh? Eh? Write something about God on your Facebook status and see how many people like it and how many comments you're going to get. Just test it out. Go home tonight. Mm, after the service. Not right now. After the service. Hallelujah. Amen. Put something there. Eh? That's the challenge for every one of us. Let's see. How many of us can put a scripture on their Facebook account and see how many responses eh, you get? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Eh? We know people reject the knowledge of God revealed in nature and that must motivate us to proclaim the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ. Eh? Read the underlying section please. Two, three. Only by accepting God. Amen. Because, see, we don't want anybody to go to hell. Eh? Yeah? We don't want anybody. Whether they're related to us or not. We just don't want anybody to go to hell. We want everybody to go to heaven. This is why it is very important to preach the gospel. To share the gospel with other people. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't stop praying for your loved ones. Keep praying, church. Keep praying. If we assume that those who have never heard the gospel are granted mercy from God, we will run into a terrible problem. Amen? Terrible problem. Amen? If people who have never heard the gospel are saved, it is logical that we should make sure no one ever hears the gospel. Do you see that? Eh? Eh? If, if everybody who has never heard the gospel gets saved, then we, there's no need for us to preach it then. Praise the Lord. The reason why we preach it is because, eh? so that everybody can hear it and receive Jesus Christ. Let's go with it. The worst thing we could do would be to share the gospel with a person and have him or her reject it. If that were to happen, he or she would be condemned. People who do not hear the gospel must be condemned or else there is no motivation for evangelism. Amen? Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. Why run the risk of people possibly rejecting the gospel and condemning themselves when they were previously saved because they have never heard the gospel? So you see the, you see the logic in it. Eh? Praise the Lord. It is very important. Amen. Because everybody will face eh, judgment from Parameshwar. Whether you are saved or not. Eh? We will stand before Parameshwar. Amen. Hallelujah. My time is up. Any question? People say they never will be taken home. Yeah. 
So I said, I told the father, it is necessary to go to church. Yeah. So he said, no, we do church at home. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. What should you this is the greatest problem today that people want to justify themselves eh? want to justify themselves because they think that they can have church at home by not attending a church amen remember when we get up there there's going to be lots and lots of people up there people you have never met before how you are how are you going to relate to them when you haven't been able to relate to anybody in the church? This is the picture. This is the picture. Pay very careful attention. I know my time is up, but just give me two or three minutes. Uh, you remember the flood in Noah's time. The great flood in Noah. And Parameshwar told him to build a boat. Boat, barka barka boat. What's boat in Hindi? Okay, eh? what pastor said. So he built a boat. Praise the Lord. And they went inside the boat. Now remember this with all the animals. Eh? You're in a big boat with all the animals and there's no air conditioning. Hello? Can you imagine the smell of all the animals? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there's no window except there's only one window in the boat. Huh? Can you stand that? Be in the same boat huh? with all the animals and there's only one window, no air conditioning. Can you imagine how uncomfortable it is? Amen? But tell me now, tell me now. Eh? That's the flood. You're in the boat with all the animals eh? and all the smell, no air conditioning uncomfortable now you have an option you can either be outside of the boat or inside you can be outside and drown like those people or you can be inside the boat with all the smelly animals and survive where would you choose inside, inside the boat church is like that remember this church is like that you may come to church and there are different people here yeah? Not with different smell, don't get me wrong, but with different personality. Amen? Yeah? It's not going to be comfortable, praise the Lord, but it's, it is better than being outside the church. There's a flood there and people are drowning. This is the boat that God built, hallelujah, to rescue his people. Because outside, the world is being flooded with sin. Amen. Outside the world is being flooded with sin. Amen. Yeah. Or we're all different with different personalities. Amen. We respond and react differently. But it's better inside the church than outside. Can we all stand please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just say a word of thank you to Parameshwar for what you have learned tonight, for what you have received tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Thank you, Parameshwar. Thank you, Parameshwar. Thank you, Parameshwar. Thank you, Parameshwar. Heavenly Father, but thank you, Parameshwar. We bless you, Holy Name. We bless you, Holy Name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Randini, can you please say a prayer and end this meeting tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For you are awesome, Lord Jesus. We uplift your name on high, Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be uplifted, Lord Jesus, to be praised, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this evening, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the things we have been taught, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, whatever you have taught. Bring us to realization, O Lord Jesus, that what we, whatever we have been taught, O Lord Jesus, we walk upon, O Lord Jesus, your paths, O Lord Jesus, so that when we go, O Lord Jesus, stand, stand in front of you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we won't 
be, we will be our Jesus found in your kingdom, O oh Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Oh Lord Jesus, I give this time, O oh Lord Jesus, as we go away from here, O oh Lord Jesus. I pray for Messi Jenny for each and every one, O oh Lord Jesus, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for everything you have been doing and the things you are about to do and the things we have received from you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.